Okay, now it's time for part two of Multiple Meanings Bump. We're not going to waste time with the instructions because you probably did part one and you remember what's going on. So I'm going to turn. We have new words. Um, one word was from before because the word bark was something neither of us landed on. So I put that back up here. You're still going to be the yellow and I'm going to be the red and you go first. Oh, got to show your numbers. Also, in part one, I had put the numbers in the middle row backwards from biggest to littlest. So I fixed them this time. Okay, here we go. Your number is six. So here we go. Ring. Two meanings for the word ring. Yep, yep, I bet you you got the one for sure about the ring goes on a finger. Looks like Darla has a new diamond ring. That's a big one. What else? Can something ring? Yeah, if you hear the phone ring, please answer it. So there it was a verb or an action word, and in the first one it was a thing, so it was a noun. There you go. My turn. I got a 10. Shed. Okay. Um, okay, the first one I'm thinking of is like I have a couple of sheds in my backyard to put my husband's tools in. Okay. And the other one I'm thinking of is, well, gotta tell you, I got two dogs sleeping on my couch. And you know, they're Princess and Snoopy. See them over there taking up my whole couch? Yeah. Well, I have that blanket on the couch because those two can really shed fur. So that's another meaning for shed. And that same meaning is here. When Molly lost her cat, she shed a tear. So she's shedding tears. My dogs are shedding fur. Um, a snake can shed its skin. So here we go. Shed. Mm, Got to put those back. All righty. Your turn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I really wish you were here to remind me of what color is what. That's my color. Silly me. Now your turn. Three. Pen. Can you think of two meanings for the word pen? P-E-N. Well, I bet you you knew this one. She's using a pen to write her mom a letter. Can you think of the other one? Hmm, I'll help you if you can't. Okay. The pigs are happy in their pig pen. Okay. A dog kennel could actually pretty much be called a dog pen also. It's just something that pens them up, cages them up. Okay, my turn. Eleven. Glasses. Well, one's pretty easy. My glasses that I really, really need to see. And the other can be something we drink out of. The new glasses match her other dishes. Okay, so a glass is kind of like a cup. We drink out of it. Glasses, and Dad needs his glasses. And Miss Trudy needs her glasses. Okay, your turn. You have a four. Lap. Lap. Okay. Yeah. Sam sat in Paula's lap. We all have a lap. Can you think of one more? Well, track season's coming up. If we had school, it would be anyway. And that makes me think about laps where you could run a lap. Okay. I don't have a card that shows it, but that's what I was thinking about. And another meaning could be the kitten likes to lap the milk. They take their rough tongue and they lap up the milk and it gets stuck in that rough surface of their tongue. Okay, so that's you for yellow. I'm trying to keep this straight. Ten. I'm already there. Your turn. Ten. Oh no, you're going to bump me off. All right, what did shed mean? Yeah, my dogs. Yep, all that fur my dogs shed. What else? Yep, my husband's tool shed. Okay. 
Five. Rock. Okay. First one I'm going to name is where it's a noun or a thing. Brad stood behind the rock. Okay, and another word for this kind of rock is stone. Those are synonyms, rock and stone. And, and the other way I'm thinking of is a doing word or an action word called a verb. If you rock the baby, the baby will go to sleep. There's mom or grandma rocking the baby. Okay, so there's my mark. Your turn. Five. Well, you're bumping me off. What did I say rock was? Yep, a stone and rock the baby. Oh man, you got a lot of them on there. I have a nine. Calf. Okay. This one usually gives everybody some trouble. A baby cow is called a calf. Okay, just like a baby kitten. A baby cat is a kitten. A baby dog is a puppy. A baby cow is a calf. And this says she hurt her calf while running. That lower part of your leg, still kind of meaty, but not as meaty as the upper part. She hurt her calf. So we all have two calves. All right, my red, your turn. Hmm, three, you're already there. My turn, two, Bill. Besides the name, my husband's name is Bill, but that doesn't count. Um, well, how about a bill you have to pay? Her car repair bill was very expensive. Oh my gosh, look at her. She fainted because it was so much. That's kind of silly, isn't it, that picture? And the other kind is Dilly Duck's bill is orange. This on the duck is a bill. Okay, so those are two for bill. Another one for bill could be a dollar bill or a $5 bill or a $20 bill. $150. Your turn. You have a four. You're already there. I have a one. Bark. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Little joke there. Okay, bark. That can be, obviously, a dog bark. I heard the dog bark. Bark, bark, bark. Or something has bark. Hmm, what has bark? I know. The tree has bark. The bark on the tree is brown. Okay. There we go. Your turn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was me. Oh, man. Your turn. Eight. Jam. On part one, I showed you what this one was. Let's see if you watched it and remember. Jam. Yep, peanut butter jelly jam. What was the other one? Mm -hmm. The traffic jam or the paper jam, or the finger jam, or something is stuck. Oh boy, you are getting close, unless I do some off, bumping you off. I have a nine. That's already me. You have a five. That's already you. I have an eleven. That's already me. You have a four. It's already you. I have a seven. Oh, trunk. Well, there's a tree trunk, which I don't have a card for. There's a trunk to store things in. And an elephant's trunk. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, nobody's got three in a row, do they? Oh, not even on a diagonal, I don't think. Nope. Your turn. You got a one. You're going to bump me off there, but you still won't have three in a row. Bark. Yep. Dog bark, tree bark. Eight. 
jam, peanut butter jelly jam, traffic jam. Your turn. One, you're already there. I have a nine. I'm already there. You have a four. You're already there. I have the four. Lap. Sit on a lap. Run a lap. Kitten laps the milk. Oh boy, I hope I get a 12. Five for you. You're there. 11 for me. I'm there. Two for you. Okay. You're gonna bump me off. Okay, what did Bill mean? Besides my husband's name. Yep, a duck's bill, dollar bill, or a bill you have to pay. Grown-ups get tired of bills they have to pay. And there you go. Three in a row, multiple meanings. You got it. So let's just look at this last one we didn't get to. Cook. Okay, I don't like to cook. That's kind of like this one. Only grandmother likes to cook. Miss Trudy doesn't like to cook. There it's the verb, the action. And the other one is, cook is the person that's doing it. Fred is a cook at the restaurant. Okay, so that's something. Cook. Okay. And there were two more I didn't put in the game. The word pitcher which means Tess is the best pitcher in the league. My daughter's named Tessa, and she is a pitcher. And the pitcher of lemonade. It can be a container that holds something to drink. Okay, and the other one we didn't get in the game is bulb. Okay, one's pretty easy. A light bulb for our lamp, and the other one is hard, kind of. The daffodil bulb bloomed in the spring. There are flower bulbs, like tulips, daffodils. Hmm, I can't think of it more right at the moment. Alrighty, I'm going to let you go ahead and go, and I hope you have a nice day.